I'm so sorry I'm late. This wasn't on my calendar. Welcome to Tool Tips, where every week we discover new and surprising ways to use Airtable. Today, I'm going to show you how to sync your crucial dates in Airtable to any calendar you rely on for your day to day. You can sync any Airtable calendar view with external calendar applications so that updates in your Airtable calendar are automatically reflected in the calendar app of your choice. This is perfect for when you want to see the most up-to-date deadlines in your personal calendar or make a calendar visible to stakeholders outside of your base. First, we'll talk about what you need in your Airtable base to sync your calendar. Spoiler, it'll involve creating an Airtable calendar view. Then we'll cover two ways to sync, syncing your whole calendar with a URL or sending out invites for specific events using Airtable automations. Every event on your calendar requires at least a start time, end time, and a title. There's some optional information like description and a location. Since we want to sync this information from Airtable, we at least have to have the required elements as fields in our table. In this example, I'm managing an event in Airtable and every record in the schedule table represents a talk. Every talk has a title, start time, and an end time. Now I can create a calendar to see the schedule for my event. I'll color this by talk track because colors are cool and important. Creating a calendar view is a great way to start because it's what you'll need to sync to your external calendar app. Make sure you've got the required fields in place and create a calendar view. Now that you have a calendar view, let's see how you can sync it to your personal calendar. To get started, select share view from the view bar. It's worth noting that this already creates a link that anyone can visit to see your calendar view, but let's take it up a notch. You can click sync to an external calendar to generate a URL that most calendar applications can use. I'm using Google Calendar and under settings, I can add a calendar from a URL. I'll simply paste and now I have a new calendar that syncs directly from my Airtable base. Now I can see my event's full schedule in my Google Calendar. And I can share this URL so that any attendee can do the same. A quick note on other calendar applications. I'll drop a link with steps on how to sync to the most popular calendar apps using a URL in the description of this video. Sometimes you don't want to sync your whole calendar, but simply create events for some records. For instance, speakers should have a dedicated invite on their calendar for their speaking slot so they don't forget. To create a calendar event from Airtable, you can use Airtable automations. My trigger for sending out the event will be when the talk is confirmed. Once the confirm field is checked, what I want this automation to do is to send an invite. I can pick from Google or Outlook, the two tools Airtable currently integrates with. I can grab the start time, end time, location from the record in step one and invite the speaker. Now, every time a talk is confirmed, the speaker automatically receives a calendar invite. And that's the only invite that'll pop up on their calendar. Using automations to create events is perfect if there's a specific moment in your workflow that requires you to create the event, like a kickoff meeting, a candidate interview, or a confirmed appointment. Last pro tip here, if you've already got calendar invites that you want to bring into Airtable, you can use Airtable Sync. But let's block time off in another tool tip to dig into that. Make sure to carve out time on your calendar to explore all the different ways you can integrate Airtable with your calendar. And as always, let us know in the comments how you're doing this, and we'll schedule a delivery to whoever wows us with their calendar skills. That's it for this episode of Tool Tips. I'll see you next week.